Hey guys, B-Man here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. What we have today is Enzo. My Enzo build for you guys. And Enzo is absolute S tier in all content. Whether it's dungeons, like you see right here, bossing, or anything. As long as you've got a good weapon and you've got the fox supply, Firearm Enhancer Transcendent mod, <laughs> you can make an S tier build. So with that said, let's just get straight into this build, guys. Let's get into this build. Now this build here has not got any act energy activators or any catalysts in the Descendant, okay, for this build. I'm starting off on a build that's low and got none of that because I put a, pol a post out and uh, some people asked for me to make an earlier build. So one that does not have any energy activators. So this build here will be able to take you up and you'll be able to destroy all of these bosses here. You'll be able to destroy these bosses and I'll show some gameplay of me absolutely destroying these bosses. This build here is gonna focus quite a lot on survivability because pretty much your gun damage is gonna be all your damage and you're just buffing it to get the crit rate the rest of what you're doing is survivability so you don't die and become a burden to your team when you're actually facing these bosses going on to the later ones like gluttony and stuff like that you will need even more survivability than what you can actually get out of this build with no energy activator so i would suggest holding off on those fights until you go and get yourself an energy activator and we'll create an energy activator build for those fights up to this point this build here easily and comfortably can take on these and farm these fights here without having any issues whatsoever i haven't tested it against molten fortress just because i don't like that tower mechanic and if, if everyone in your team isn't onto it it can be a nuisance to defeat so with that said i'm skipping that one but i'm showing you guys it in action against these ones and pretty much how this build's going to come down to guys is in this build i have a very well built enduring legacy with, in, with Enzo, how he's going to work is the better your weapon, the better the damage you're going to do. Obviously, because he's a very weapon used, heavily using descendant. He's also buffing other people as well, your other players. But the better the weapon that you have, the better experience you're going to have with Enzo. So I highly recommend going out and getting yourself the Enduring Legacy and building it up. This one is not fully built up yet. As you can see, I've still got to put some more Catalyst stuff in here and add some more modules onto here. And I'll get even more DPS out of here. But this is the weapon that I am using for this. And I am using a built up weapon for this. If you don't have a fully built weapon obviously you will not get the same dps as you see me getting but this is the build that i have right here so with that said guys what this build is focused on is because it's a low modules and low low capacity build i've built it in mind of just trying to get the survivability so how this build's going to work we have the supply firearm enhancer transcendent mod now what that mod does is it increases your weak point damage and your firearm critical hit rate and this is what makes it with that with and com combined with this you're getting crazy hit rates but even without this and just with this we're getting nearly 80 percent i think 79 to 80 percent crit rate anyway so even just this alone is absolutely broken and this is what's making this so good so he's absolutely broken with guns and we don't really need to do much about that in this early build we do not want to go too focused too much on trying to have this up because we don't have a lot of stuff to be able to use so what we're doing in this early build is we're focusing heavily on survivability and we're using just this one because this does not need anything to be able to make it so we can use it all the time then we got getting the cooldown down to 14 seconds and once you activate this it goes for the whole clip so as long as we have a gun that has crazy clip that has a nearly a nearly 200 in the clip we're getting 200 bullets out of this with this every time we activate this so this works really well with the enduring legacy so this that's why this is set up the way it is so 
how I've gone with this, I've tried lots of different setups, guys, and I've tried lots, and I'm trying just to find the best that's going to work without an energy activator for you. And this is what we've come up with. Going with high defense and high HP seems to be the best at this point. Later stages when you've got more modules to play with, guys, you might be able to go for a shield build and other builds on that, but when we're restricted on how much modules we have because we haven't got an energy activator in here and we haven't got catalysts in here, at this point, of our building we do not want to go for shields because you need to actually invest quite a lot to be able to do all of that stuff so for that reason we want to go into health because it's a lot better thing to build into so for that reason we have increased hp for the 218 percent health we have hp amplification for the extra hp because we're not building into shield it doesn't matter that the shield comes down with this we've also got extra healing because this was just an extra slot i could fit in with my points it gives us some more skill duration for this when it's up which is extra handy because that's some more damage output but it's also giving us extra healing when we actually do pick up our healing which is helpful we've got the fence this is actually quite good guys have this on here because this will increase make it so we're actually taking reduced damage when we're taking damage we have this slot right here this is our universal slot for immunities so if we're going up against the swamp walker or the obliterator we put in this one for poison right if we're going up against the frost walker or say the the dead bride we'll put in antifreeze so that we don't get frozen when they shoot us right because that can kill you in that aspect if we're going up against something that's fire related we put in the heat one right if it's electric we put in the insulated electric one and so on so this slot here is universal for us to swap between for whatever boss we're going up against for that immunities that we need and this right here is absolutely awesome i've found that this is the best combination for me for what i'm able to build with the restrictions that we have okay so with that said the best things that i've gone to go with this you don't need a golden reactor because all your skill power is irrelevant you're not using it so all i've gone for here is this that little add-on thing i went for some extra health hp heal modifier you can maybe go for some cooldowns or some duration to help you get your abilities up but honestly hp heal modifier is the best one for me for what i'm going for but it's not too big of a deal so don't stress too much for that with this what you want to go for on here for this build is hp and defense so as you'll see here we've got defense and we've got hp we've got hp max hp we've got our max mp sorry max and then we've got hp recovery modifier we have more mp recovery modifier we've got our defense and then we've got our HP and our shield. Now, when you're going up against the Frostwalker or something, you can swap this one out and you can swap in for your resistances for the boss that you're going against. So in the gameplay, you'll see I've actually got this swapped out and I've, I think I've got this in here for some chill resistance and some better defense. So when I go up against the Frostwalker, I will swap that out for that one. And say I'm going up against the, a poison boss, I'll make sure I have toxin resistance in here. So make sure you have the resistance for against the type of the boss type that you're going against in your modules as well that will help quite a lot and with that said this is the total that we can reach we can reach these stats here which is quite awesome at level 20 and it's absolutely awesome now with this this is not the perfect setup guys this is just what i'm finding running really good so far and i haven't finished building this so this can get a lot better dps yet but this is where it is and i'm building it more for the crits because i'm always hitting crits so i want to build crits and crit damage so with that said once we put up this ability here we put this down and this ability stays active until we reload our gun so the more bullets we have in our gun the better so we can run along we can shoot and shoot and shoot and we just keep that hitting heaps of crits heaps of crits heaps of crits now we can use this ability and this will buff us and our friends and our other teammates in our lobby can also touch this and pick this up and our whole lobby and our whole team get the buff. So we're absolutely not only buffing ourselves, we're buffing our whole team and our whole team just destroys. So with that said guys, that is this build. And I'll get in and after this we'll get in and I'll try and I'll start working on future builds where I've got a energy activator waiting to get into this and more and more on with this. I've got a waiting catalyst and all sorts waiting, ready to go to start working on Enzo and we'll get in and I'll see what we can do with this guy. So this is the no catalyst, no activator, but this guy the weapon does have that stuff on it with that said i'll get in and i'll let the gameplay play out so you guys can see 
how this works and this actually also is really good against in if you're doing dungeons and stuff because he's really got really good survivability so with that said he's actually a really good all-rounder especially if you have stuff like the thunder cage for mobbing fully maxed out and stuff like that as well he actually becomes super good for everything and i've been getting lots of questions so how i obtained my my transcendent mod is I, f I had to grind for a long time some people might get it without even trying some people might just look and they've had it well if you're one of those people i'm happy for you but for me i had to grind and i grind opened about 80 volts so yes it was a big grind for me now i had to come and i had to grind a lot of the precision ultra precision code breakers so this is where i had to come to do it sterile lands and i farmed up this right here this extermination mission it's a quick mission to do and i just farmed and farmed this i got about four of the of the keys an hour the ultra precision vault key code breakers i got about four an hour from there and it took me about 80 to be able to actually get the transcendent mod once you've got the code breakers you come to vespers here timberfall and vespers you'll come to here and over here there's a waterfall and that is where i found my vault that i opened and got it from but the the ultra precision vaults in timberfall vespers is where you will get the transcendent mod for that so with that said let's get into the gameplay It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. 